Hi Scorpio, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and uh, I'm just going to go through my spiel. So for those who are used to this, go ahead and feel free to fast forward through this part. I've just got to say it for all my newbies. So this is for Scorpio, like I said, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to all my cross watchers and cross watcher dealing with a Scorpio. Feel free to switch around the characters as needed. You might be dealing with a Scorpio and I could speak be, be speaking directly to you. So just kind of keep that in mind. And these are just general messages. So obviously not going to resonate with all of you. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not for you. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. Also, if you guys would like to make a good karma donation, that information is also located down below. And then just wanted to say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. And for those who have made a donation, I appreciate that so, so, so much. So, Scorpio, I was kind of tapping into your guys' energy. This is going to be at least for one specific person, okay? But I am getting that there is... Um, it's not that one, I know, sorry. I am kind of intuitively picking up on which card it is. Because we've got the elephant so far, so I am going to keep that. But what I was picking up as I was kind of tapping into your guys' energy is there's at least one Scorpio out there where I feel like... You've kind of had the, the, there's an uncomfortable situation that maybe you've been in with another person and it could be a fire sign because I was seeing there was a little bit of a fire energy. So it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but I think that there's been some kind of fiery communication, some, an argument that you've been through recently with a person. There's been maybe a little bit of an explosion where you guys just couldn't see eye to eye on something and... I'm seeing that, actually, I'm going to take this one. We've got cheetah and elephant, which I think is interesting. I feel like this is the dynamic between the two of you. So take out however resonates. I think that you guys have been through an uncomfortable kind of impasse situation in your relationship where you actually are mirroring each other because here we've got both of these coming out as the alchemical symbol as fire. Okay, and what did I say as I was shuffling? I saw the Queen of Wands, so I could tell that there is a lot of fire energy at least going on within a relationship or a dynamic that you're in currently, Scorpio. And that's what I think is so interesting. These, these energies, even though they're different, and the elephant would obviously like stomp all over the cheetah, I'm actually picking up Scorpio that you're coming across as more the elephant, that you are, there, there's someone, this is more of like a competitive, competitive energy that I'm picking up on. It's like both of you have some type of goal or target in mind and you're just not seeing eye to eye, but you're both like very competitive. Like you might be trying to trump each other, how you communicate. I'm even seeing like a lot of verbal trying to win like who's gonna win in this argument or this this dynamic okay because there's like this goal and it doesn't even have to be it could be a physical thing that you both are in competition over or chasing after just with this target energy around the cheetah or it just could be about who's gonna win the argument you know that could be the goal is who's going to come out on top, who's going to trump one another. Because as I was saying before, these these energies are actually very similar. The cheetah is like full-blown, nothing is stopping them from reaching their target from this thing that fires them up. And the elephant is actually similar. The elephant is an obstacle, like, I always think of the juggernaut in X-Men when I see the elephant, it's like nothing can stand in the elephant's way. It will just knock out walls and everything, just stampede through obstacles because it's got this fire lit underneath them. And I think that's why I was saying, Scorpio, I feel like this is more your energy. I think that you are, you are charging through the competition. You are, there's someone here that's kind of racing you 
either mentally or some way, shape or form, but there's just some competition going on here. And I think you can sense it in a way, Scorps, like you know that someone's just in some way a comp in competition with you. Because what was I saying? Like these were, oh my gosh, I cannot make this up. These were the energies that I was seeing as I was pulling it up. So here they are popping out. What did I say about this fire energy? So it could be a female, don't get too caught up on the gender. But here's this wands energy and all the fire, all right? So there could be a lot of fiery communication between the two of you. And I say that because of the five of swords. This is arguments. This is like communication, sometimes negative, right? And I feel like it's fiery communication where you guys keep getting at a no-win situation with one another. You just keep coming at an impasse, like a block within one another. So let me just pull out just a few more clarifiers. I think both of you are kind of... If this is a competition in some way, it could be someone that's maybe trying to block you from a new beginning that you're wanting to take. And it's like, Scorpio, you, you know what it is. Like, you know this new beginning that you're stepping into. Maybe you're taking a little bit of a risk. This could even be a parent-child dynamic where they could be talking down to you like you know that you're supposed to be doing something and stepping into some type of passionate new beginning that lights you up and someone's trying to kind of keep you from accomplishing that goal but there's nothing where i'm seeing you're not going to get it scorps like i think that you're going to just completely blaze through it because here, here we've got the empress card i freaking love her energy so I feel like that's a part of you, Scorpio. I think that you're stepping into a, a new beginning that's going to be just like brand new. And that's what you're chasing after. It's like, you know, there's this new beginning that you want and that you'll be stepping into. And the other thing I'm picking up for some of you, this even could, what did I just say? It could be a parent-child dynamic. It could be an actual mother that's influencing you. <laughs> And not in a positive way. They might be even talking down to you like you are still a child with that page of swords. Really interesting. So, but what I'm seeing with that Empress card, Scorpio, is just keep doing what you're doing. Keep nurturing yourself. You know what you're doing. You might need to even block this person out. Because I feel like the person is treating you like you are just like... You don't know what you're talking about, like almost talking down to you, like you, you're too young to know any better or because there's a definite dynamic here. There's an age gap and there is something that lights you up. And this person could even be a fire sign. Like I was saying before, this could be a fire sign in your experience that's more of like a motherly figure over you or you look up to them in some way, shape or form. But you might have to come to the place of blocking this person out if they're influencing you so much and, and, and you guys just keep coming at this negative conflict between the two of you. I think the need, the thing that's needed is you kind of got to step into your own power and know that you know what's best for your own life. You know, like this person, I think they have in their own way good intentions but it's like they have they might have good intentions but at the same time i think they're just operating from just yeah look at this 5 of wands this is a lot of conflict one of you out there there's a lot of conflict with some type of female nurturing this could even just be a really controlling female in your experience, that's just like dominating. There's so much fives. Look, there's the five of cups on the bottom. I'm not going to take that, but there's so many fives in this dynamic and fives are all about conflict. So Scorpio, I think you're going through a really big transition of cutting people out and learning to communicate your boundaries. This has been a huge theme, I feel like, for kind of the collective lately is just really communicating boundaries like nope that doesn't work for me and but still being generous you know it doesn't mean that you have to be a jerk about things but just these energies get so blurred when you go into dynamics and there isn't clear 
boundaries and things set up from the beginning, then it, that's usually where the conflict comes in, you know? So I feel like in this dynamic, there's just, there's been one person or another that's maybe been a little more disempowered, given their power away to this other person because they looked up to him. They put him on a pedestal in some way, shape or form. And that's what's needed to change. That's why you guys are entangling with one another because you Scorpio actually need to take on that energy a little bit of yourself where you need to take your power back step into your true power, like take all of your focus away from the opinions of this person because it doesn't matter. Like they're going to have their own opinions no matter what. And so <laughs> here's where we got the two of cups coming out. So for some of you, if the, if this is romantic sexual, there is a deep soulmate bond here for you. This is for those that are not romantic or sexual in this dynamic, this if this is family or a work or a boss situation, they are mirroring you, okay? That's what I always say with this card is the double image. Why it can be like a soulmate or a twin flame connection is because chemically they're mirroring you. And they're mirroring if you give away your power to other people. If you're an energy giver and you don't take care of yourself. Which is why I feel like this Empress card is popping out. The Empress card takes care of herself before anyone else. And look how many queens we've got popping out here. Queen energy plus the Empress. That's like full-blown putting your own needs above others. Taking care of yourself, your own happiness, putting boundaries up. Because that's what's causing the conflict to come in. Is when you put when you care too much about what other people think. And even... When you announce your own plans, like sometimes if you start just seeking the opinion of other people, you give away your power right there and then people will step in and they start mirroring you. So if you're coming into this conflict, it's because they're showing you that you need to step into your power and just take back control of your life. If there's some new beginning that you're wanting to step into, and that's what I feel like is so key is... The, le the fool card is about taking a leap of faith. It can be kind of a naive energy. It's like maybe there's something Scorpio in your life where you're, you're like, I don't know, like, should I do this? And you haven't just completely been decisive about something, which doesn't always come across to me with Scorpios, but this is one specific Scorpio that I'm connecting with. And there's just something that you're trying to make a decision on that maybe you're just feeling a little like, nervous about because it feels big you know this is the very first card in the tarot deck stepping into a brand new beginning and so they are simply showing you how to take your power back that's why you're entangling with all of this because don't even announce your plans to people don't tell them even what you're doing that is seriously one of the things that i've learned in life just <laughs> look at that take your power back this is the emperor card that's full-blown stepping into your power this is even power couple right here, you know, but that's what they're showing you. They're showing you how to put your needs, your happiness over everyone and everything else. Be the ruler of your own kingdom. The emperor rules over their entire kingdom like they are decisive. And that's why I feel like this chariot card is also popping out. So once you decide to start putting like your own needs above everyone else, taking care of yourself. Don't even ask people for their opinion because people won't understand you. You know, if there's something really crazy that you're wanting to do that lights you up and people might be against it, they might be talking you out of it, trying to, you have got to ju just do your thing, you know, and there are no mistakes that you can make. Like, just move forward. You might even be wanting to make a physical move, a geographical move or change with this chariot card. You might want to move jobs or you might want to move physical locations. And there's someone here that's block, like wanting to block you from doing that, making you think it might not be a good idea. And yeah, just step in your power. Make your own decision, Scorpio. You know what you're doing. You know what's best for yourself. And once you kind of step into that knowing and that power, it it's like I said, this chariot card. You're going to be jumping in your chariot and going full force ahead. It's like nothing will be able to stop you. And that's why I think those two imageries 
are so similar, the chariot and the elephant, nothing's going to stop you from reaching your target. The cheetah might, but the cheetah sometimes, to me, what pops out to them is sometimes they can move too fast and they trip up over themselves just with like the feet, they can trip over their own feet. And that's what I feel like is going to be happening in this dynamic. They might trip up over themselves, maybe say something wrong, but you're going to blaze through the obstacles that they might be presenting to you. Maybe if they're making you feel disempowered in some way, shape or form, you're, you are absolutely knocking through any obstacles that this situation or these people might be presenting for you, K-Scorps. So let me just pull one more kind of like advice card from the Archangel Oracles. What can we get for Scorpio about this interesting dynamic here? Scorpio. Scorpio. Yep, there's a new cut there. Oh, and that's the new one to come out. Okay. Interesting. Um, who just got this? Someone just barely got this card. So we've got Claire Sentience, Archangel Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So yeah, Scorpio, just kind of keep in touch. Keep focused on your goal. And if something or someone in your dynamic, that's where it's saying pay attention to your emotional feelings because you are being guided in this situation. Um, interesting. Okay, sorry. That was the... I'm going to pull out a couple of here. So we had, I had moon cycles that was flashing out here. Okay, so you might be, this is a, a whole cycle that you're going through with this person where you're having to step into your power. All right, they're helping you to see that dynamic. It says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. I always take the moon cycles to be as almost karmic cycles. So that's why you're going through this dynamic is it's like a karmic energy within you. It's the chemicals in your cells. And that's why you're entangling with this person because they're actually acting as a catalyst for you, believe it or not. Because I feel like maybe Scorpio, you kind of need, you might not like it, you know, like none of us really truly do like conflict, but sometimes conflict can be the catalyst to remembering who we really are, which I thought this was great. This popped out. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. But I think more than anything, it's about you remembering what a powerful creator you are, that you know what's best for yourself. And you just need to remember that. And sometimes these people come in to test us, to, you know, like kind of, like I said, be a catalyst to our growth so that we truly step into the power that we are. So pay attention to your intuition and things like that. That's really going to help you in this dynamic. Okay, Scorpio. So yeah, I hope that really helped for at least one of you out there and hope that gave you some clarity and guidance. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Wishing you all the very best. Take care.